And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio, back to basics. Well, I've got this all set up, ready to go. Uh, I had to redesign a little bit over here to get it to loop properly. But it should be good. Uh, I've got the trains set up, ready to go. One here, and there, and one there. So this one will be copper and plastic. This one will be the circuits. And this one will be where we load uh, the finished products so I'm just gonna have a, a, a double cargo train on all of these um, I'm actually going to need an extra locomotive for plastic so that is something I'm gonna need to do here um, we're gonna have this this is going to go to copper one time passed and then it's going to come to reds copper plastic time passed this one is going to go to greens load and this and, and then come to come to reds greens time passed and for now um, I'm gonna have this one be my plastic so this one's actually gonna have to come to refine plastic and then it's gonna have to go to reds copper plastic so now we have all of that I'm gonna do five six five six five six five six, five, six. So we don't need the train parked in order to see where it's going to unload at. So we're just going to load these up like that. And this one will come out like this. So there's all my, all my things. Um, and we're going to need some filter inserters for up here. Because one side is going to be plastic and the other side is going to be copper so I'll have this be the plastic it's my alt on there we go so these are all going to be plastic and how many of these iron it's always iron it's amazing how much iron I go through and I am quite a ways away from it where's my car there it is it's crazy how much iron I go through when I'm playing it's just a non-stop amount of iron so let's just build a bunch and then restock on iron again because I've got a plenty of circuits I stocked up on circuits I didn't stock up on iron though and these take 24 iron a piece Express filter inserter. Well, I'm going to put these in my hot bar. Express filter inserter right down there. And how many do I have? 44. Let's do an extra one of those. Let's uh, give myself a bunch of express inserters. And then what do I need? It uh, looks like I need pretty much copper and iron again these big these big building projects are major consumers of resources need a little bit more iron I can come up here I think if I can get by my belts and steal some from the steel systems lots of resources now how much my oh steel I should just grab some steel while I'm at it just to have it with me and then hop back in my car and try not to die so you're gonna go up I think no nope. yep you're gonna go up. oh Jesus okay well the car is gone I didn't die but the car is gone. I don't think I can build another one. 
Nope, I need more engines. Crap. Oh. Well, I'm glad it didn't kill me. These are going to be green circuits, so these are going to be just the same all over. And this is going to be load, and we're not going to worry about that quite yet. We're going to need to set these to copper, though. There we go. And there's some uh, uh, coal right down here that uh, we can use to fuel these trains. So I just need like one little miner to, to grab it and then I can just fuel it from there. And that's kind of a small iron patch, but we can always, always add some iron loading as well down here, some iron ore loading to move it somewhere else. I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna need to uh, load some iron for my steel production. So let's uh, run these. And power it up. I'm gonna power as much as I can here. No, oh, I'm gonna need another set up here. So that should be good. <clears throat> now for the output. Again, I think I'm just going to go straight across with these. And let's put a limit on these. Just so it doesn't saturate the system. I'm just shift shift clicking. You shift right click to copy and you shift left click to paste. So I'm just pasting that setting all the way through. Now we've got green circuits, all the ingredients required, and we've got a deadlock over here for some reason. You wanna go down, you wanna go up, you wanna go up, you wanna come in. Why can't you, why are you stopped? Oh, this guy here. Okay, so we are gonna use chain signals to sort of route traffic that goes in. We don't need it for coming out, but we definitely need it for going in. Because I don't want to set up like this anymore. Um, I'm going to take you, I'm going to do manual, and I'm going to back you up. And now when I run him, he should stop right there. Because he's there's nowhere out. There's nowhere to go out. Oh, and he's gonna. Oh, okay. He's gonna go that way. Chain signals really help with this setup. And we still have a deadlock up here. Yeah, this whole system is pretty. Pretty bad. Um, where you want to go in here. And this is blocked because of this. Well, it's because of a lot of things, actually. Um, I'm not sure how to fix this. If I hop in you, and I just kind of set you up over here. So let the trains run and sort of process. And then run it again. And it should fly through the air, loop around, and come right in. If I read my trains right. Yep. It's this, it's because this is so close. Um, it has problems. just has problems it's unfortunate 
I was kind of looking for my car there, but I remembered, oh yeah, my car exploded. There's the wreckage. Pull my poor car. So now that we've got copper down here, I want to make sure we've, we're loading it right and we're doing everything we need to do. So since we have green circuits, I don't need to worry about setting up green circuit production, which is nice. So I'm just going to set up a system how I usually do it. Um, and it's a tileable, expandable design. Just like I did up above, or in my main base, I know we're going to try to go for that many. Not 100% sure if that's going to work, but we will see. So this is going to be copper. Like that, and this is going to be split between them. So copper is going to have to come in right here. And we're going to route it down and in. Now the tough part is the plastic and the circuits because those share, those share an output. So we're going to come in like this. So this is one and that's two. So I need plastic and circuits in both of these because these get run underground like this and uh, so the tileable system is you use a splitter offset this one in underground it down here use a splitter offset it back and you have copper down here these you can just underground all the way and then you can just keep going with this system as long as you've got the supply uh, you can just keep going I'm not sure with these super fast ones if we're going to have enough. So I want to test the system out before I get too crazy with expanding it. All right, so here's our circuits, and this lines up right here. Um, however, we, we are going to need to split it. So I'm going to split it here. I'm going to underground from... Let's see, from here to here. So this goes this way. I always try to keep, I always try to keep the, the ingredients on opposite sides. So it's on the inside of this. I want it on the inside of this. And that really helps um, keep the balance going. Now for plastic, the same sort of deal. Um, I'm going to probably want to split this early because it's going to be kind of a mess over here. This is really not ideal. I am going to split this or bring this here. I'm going to have to underground it this direction. I can't split it there. This is really bad. Um, I could extend this a little bit and give myself a little bit more room. That way I can work, whoa, work a little easier because then I need to underground like to here and then up here. Like this, this is a really messy, not my best work by any means. Okay, that should be good to go. Copper, um, 
We've got plastic being split, and then one is going this way, and the other is going down over around there. So that should be good. Now for the output, I want um, these to be in, and shift E, and there we go. And I'm gonna copy and paste this around. It's like so. Same with plastic. I don't know where my plastic train is, but it hasn't even arrived yet. And I want to do the same over here. And the same over here. So where's my, where's my, oh, okay, that is a problem. Look at all the trains trying to go in here. That's crazy. Okay. Well, I'll worry about that in a second. I've got uh, other things going on. Uh, and this covers everything but you can always I left two here in case I wanted an extra copper and then I could uh, augment that a little bit so this is going to be copper cable and these are going to be my red circuits and you're going to come out oh yeah you're going to come out. You're going to go in, 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 in there. I need more inserters, please. Okay. For reasons unknown, this, this needs to be split right here. There we go. Okay. All those are done. Now we need to output. Output, I'm going to put up like this. like this and we are going to load it on the inside just in case I need uh, five six oh I didn't want I no 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 Jeez. okay six six and these I want to come in like right here And load them in. It's like that. Now we just need some plastic up here. And it's a long, long walk over to oil. So I'm going to cut the episode off here. And we'll come back next time to kickstart the red circuits and get all that stuff going plus i'm gonna make myself another car so anyway thank you for watching and i will see you next time